Hey kids. Okay, so today I'm going to go over how to do two different bird houses. And the first one's going to be like, you know, a normal looking bird house on a post. And then the other one would be a circular, you know, rounded bird house that you would hang from a tree. Of course, either one could be swapped for the other. So for the first one, I'm going to start with the front and I'm going to have two parallel lines down to one side and then also down to the other. So this is going to be that you know, upside down V for the top of the birdhouse. And then let's close this off. Now, if you make an angle this way for the back, you want to replicate it here because this is a piece of wood. So if it's here, then it's here, right? You want these to be relatively parallel. And then this angle here would be parallel to this one. Now you might even see the bottom part of that piece of wood right there. Okay, now for the uh, house walls, they could come straight down if you want them to. I'm gonna make mine angle in a little bit. like this, and then I'm going to have this line, this angle replicated there so that that's parallel, and then across here. Now, if this, I'm not going to draw a line through it, but if this imaginary line is angled up a little bit, then this is also angled up a little bit. And now, for the hole that the bird goes in, I'm going to put a circle. But then on the one side, you can put another little curved line so you can kind of see the inside piece of wood there. And then for the little post, right, you could put a little circle out here and then two parallel lines there and then a little curve right there, something for the little bird to sit on. For the platform, I'm going to make a base. So this line will be parallel to this, but come out further. And then another one over here. And then I can connect here. And this can go back there. And then you can come down from each corner. And then just do it again, right here. And here. So now, right, and you put a post down under here. Now you have a lot of fun with all the different things you can do with this birdhouse. So you can have a beautiful vine growing up it with flowers on it, right? You could put a little decorative fence around it, like that would be, let me try and demonstrate that real quick. The posts. would each be two lines. And then maybe a little, you know, um, another little upside down V at the top of each, like a little picket fence. Go with that there. And then two posts between them. Like that, kind of hold those together. So here, you could put wood detail on this. You could have this painted, like this could be floral, right? Or have some kind of pattern on it. You could put a bird on top. Let me demonstrate that for you real, too, real quick too. Let's see. Put a bird right here. So for the bird, you would start with a circle for the head but then when you go to make the body, you want to really overlap that oval with that circle because they don't have a very visible neck. And then you can kind of put a rectangle out here, although my rectangle is a little wider 
at the bottom than it is at the top. A little line right here for the wing. And then the beak is going to be up here. Pretty high up, right? So that when you connect this right into there and this right into there and the little eye then you have something a little bit more bird shape and of course you can give it feet if you want you want to put the little feet on there you can Okay, so this is option number one. Now option number two would be for you to make the top. Now I'm gonna make this different. I'm gonna make this kind of like an upside down um, ice cream cone. So I'm gonna put this here, but then I'm gonna round the bottom like this. I'm gonna make it a little wider. And then I'm going to come across here, but these aren't all going to be the same. They're going to be like um, shingles, but they're not all going to be the same. So if I have lines here and here, I don't really want a line across here. I want each one to be its own, right? And then I can put a line in the middle and make each one of those. And then a line in the middle. and make each one of those. And see how I'm deliberately making them a little bit different, like length or width, so they each look a little unique. That just makes it look like handmade, because it really shouldn't be perfect. And then down to this one, which would be, you know, the last one. And I'm probably going to make that come out a little further when I do the Sharpie. And then for this part, I'm going to have this angle in a little bit. So this would come in for the birdhouse part. Round it again at the bottom. Again with an opening, again with the inner line so that you can see that it's, you know, it's this is the wall visible on the inside. Again with the post that the little bird sits on. And then again, if you want to add, you know, like wood details or paneling or decorate it somehow, it could be so, so fun. And then you would have like a little chain here. So you could just do this, and then this, and then this, right? And then this just hangs from a tree. It could also be, you know, a rope. All right, so I'm going to probably pause it, go over these with Sharpie, and then I can show you what they look like. Okay, kids. So I have gone over my lines in Sharpie. I have added some detailing to some of my tiles, to the wood. Um, I made the inside of the birdhouse dark, although of course it'd be very cute if you had a little bird peeking out of that, it'd be adorable. Um, so you have a whole bunch of different things you can do with your birdhouses and I hope you have a lot of fun. Okay, take care.